I feel like this experience is honestly a new chapter of something for multi-rotors. Uh, to, to be able to have kids go into the hobby and to aspire for bigger things is always a goal of flight test. To see them now aspire to actually fly a manned multi-rotor is absolutely incredible. Everybody who owns the game can uh, not only play uh, the Drone Champions League uh, locations and races, but also experience that big drone and qualify for that uh, real races through the draft selection where the best 300 players actually uh, are invited to London where the teams then pick um, out of this pool the new pilots for the season. When I went in the cockpit uh, I felt confident uh, in my team in of course the pilot uh, Mirko he is a very experienced pilot also on the simulator he learned from the peak on to fly simulators like DCL the game and then uh, use his skills for real and he's now on a level where I trust him fully with my life and uh, that's what I did and um, the, the flight itself felt actually awesome a little bit like helicopter flying. The vision wird erstmals Wirklichkeit am 18. Februar bringen wir DCL the game raus wo jeder dieses Spiel spielen kann und sich so weit sogar, für, wenn er unter die Top 300 ist, für die echte Liga qualifizieren kann, indem er bei der Draft Selection in London dann eingeladen wird und dort äh, wird am hochrealistischen äh, Spiel dann natürlich auch geschaut, äh, ob jemand das Zeug dazu hat, die echten Drohnen zu steuern, das bedeutet, die Nerven dazu hat. We spent roughly at least one month full work on this drone because we had two different drones, one prototype and the second one is here in the back. The first one was much heavier, it was about 200 kilos something and this one is way lighter because we want to put a person inside it, so we had to make it lighter. It's all carbon made, so it's a strong structure as well and there was a long way towards here, not just for being in Switzerland and then coming to Croatia, but also, of course, it's uh, a lot of testing by the technical point of view, mechanical point of view, electronic point of view. All of this together, thanks to the team, the DCL team, then we made it working, but there was a big road. Arrivare fino a questo punto è stata assolutamente un'esperienza incredibile. Siamo partiti da un, in un momento in cui non eravamo sicuri di cosa potevamo veramente 
a che punto potevamo arrivare abbiamo fatto una grazie al nostro team di CL abbiamo fatto una strada veramente incredibile eh, siamo riusciti a mettere su questo drone che ho alle mie spalle che è un drone veramente incredibile che può fare acrobazie può eh, portare una persona addirittura grazie alla sua potenza la strada è stata dura non nascondo che è stata veramente, veramente dura ma ci siamo riusciti siamo arrivati qua in Croazia siamo pronti per fare i primi test abbiamo fatto già le prime acrobazie e non vediamo l'ora di spingere al massimo questo drone e riuscire finalmente a, a far, a spingere, ad avere il massimo al di fuori di questo, di questo drone che sarà veramente una sensazione assolutamente indescrivibile. Flying the big drone is very similar to uh, flying the small drone, of course, as talking about the controlling point of view, because you have the same remote, at the moment we have the same remote. But of course you have to think about the weight of this machine. This machine is like uh, way heavier than a small drone, of course, than a, even a, uh, an X-Class, of course, is like way bigger. So the, the time of response of this drone is way longer. So you have to think about the movements that this drone is going to do, and you have to control it way before. So that, that way of piloting it is, takes a bit of time, of course, at the beginning. But when I, got, uh, the, when I understood how to make it fly, then I got into it. All the flights we have done until now, they were really, really good. We just, of course, as always, had a little few issues sometimes that we had to fix. But that's something that I'm happy that there were these issues. Otherwise, if everything is 100% perfect, there will be an issue someday and maybe it's going to be bigger than what we had. So I'm happy about it.